Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Fishing Net webinar. Uh, my name is Andrew, and of course, uh, we are going to run through some new updates for our Fin partners uh, here shortly. Uh, before we do that, uh, I see we have multiple people coming into the webinar, so I'll wait about a minute or so for everyone to, to join and get settled in. Uh, as always, this is our Fishing Net webinar for partners every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. So this is a biweekly webinar. On the weeks that we're not doing this webinar, we're doing a webinar uh, specifically focused on end users. So an end user education uh, around security awareness training and cybersecurity. So uh, feel free to check that out as well, uh, the registration for that. Uh, for you to attend or for your end users or customers to attend is in our knowledge base. So uh, a really great resource uh, that we have there. Uh, okay, uh, I see that we have some people floating in, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, again, this is the, the Fishing Net uh, webinar for our Fin partners, uh, bi-weekly, every other Tuesday. And so uh, getting into it, of course, like I mentioned, my name is Andrew with Fin Security. Um, and so we will dive right into the update today, which is uh, the ConnectWise uh, integration that we now have. And so uh, over the last several months, we've been meeting with, with many of you guys uh, as our partners um, and what we call our FIN meetings are kind of like our quarterly uh, review meetings. I'm um, just kind of uh, get, gathering some good feedback around, you know, potential integrations. Um, and, you know, PSAs have been one that we've been looking at for quite a while now. So uh, we now have a ConnectWise managed billing integration uh, that you can uh, set up with FIN and deploy live where you're able to have all uh, billable users in FIN uh, basically imported directly into ConnectWise. Uh, so you don't have to do that manually. Uh, so it's very easy to set up. Uh, I don't necessarily have uh, access to a, a ConnectWise manage portal. So uh, I'll just kind of quickly talk about it on this um, knowledge base article that again is, is public and you can go to. Um, so feel free to, to go to that. Uh, this is a partner level integration. So I'll actually just quickly come to the uh, my demo account for the Fin portal. Um, so you can see here, I'm kind of at my partner homepage. If I go to integrations here at the partner level, this is actually where it would appear, not in each tenant. So feel free to connect that at the partner level. Um, and as you do that, there are four main required fields and here they are, company ID, uh, ConnectWise uh, API URL, public key and private key. And so uh, this article kind of walks through exactly how to obtain those four things. Um, and so two of those fields are on the ConnectWise Managed Login page. Um, you can see the company ID and ConnectWise API URL uh, right there uh, when logging in. And then uh, company ID and URL can also be found by going into system and then my company uh, and then viewing the name in the system URL uh, in ConnectWise. And so, um, you know, once logged in, uh, you'll create a new role uh, to assign the new API uh, to generate a public key and a private key. Um, and then uh, from there, you can go to system, security roles, uh, name the new role, fin integration, uh, set the permissions, save, and then you'll essentially map uh, each one to each other. So um, once you kind of go through these steps, uh, return back to fin, you'll kind of map, um, you know, your specific companies uh, to each other so that, you know, fin knows what uh, ConnectWise uh, is, is billing for and vice versa. Um, so you have to kind of map uh, them individually, if you will. Um, and so uh, then, you, you know, you have this section of push data. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a brand new integration uh, that we're very excited to roll out, been highly requested. And so uh, as we continue and, and make improvements to the Fin platform, we'll look to have even more uh, integrations of the like, potentially some more PSAs as we go. But... Um, this is our new ConnectWise uh, managed billing integration that we have. So again, feel free to check out that documentation. We also have, as a part of our release last week, we have a new Microsoft Defender integration. Uh, so this is really exciting. Uh, this is a part of the report phishing button uh, that we released earlier uh, in the year and in, I believe, early July. Um, and so uh, this is a really cool feature where you can have non-FIN reported emails go directly into Microsoft Defender and that kind of interface that we have. And so uh, it goes into this um, submissions area in Microsoft Defender. This is kind of a screenshot that you can see there. Um, and, you know, it's a part of the setup uh, with the uh, report a fish function. 
So if you go to uh, any tenant that you wanted to set this up for, you go to integrations at the company level. And if I were to connect this, once I actually go through and connect this, it's grayed out right now, but we have this new field right here for Microsoft Defender Access. So if I go through and connect to my Microsoft account, you'll be able to see uh, this Microsoft Defender address that you can plug right in. And at that point, you'll be able to have those submissions go directly into Defender uh, that you can see there. So uh, again, trying to have lots of integrations uh, for our partners uh, and we're continuing on uh, trying to develop many more as well. So um, but these are two that have been uh, highly requested and we're excited that we can finally uh, push them out live and uh, have our partners such as yourself kind of benefit from that. So uh, really great uh, work by our development team there. Um, so that was kind of the main talking point uh, of today. Uh, I don't really have uh, any other uh, thing to share with you other than that. Um, kind of a short one today, but uh, hopefully it was it was a valuable one that you can now take advantage of a few integrations, um, again, both at the, the company level um, and then also back here uh, at the partner level. So feel free to check those out. Um, and, you know, dive right into connecting those and the documentation if you so choose. Um, awesome. Uh, I'll hang around here a couple minutes for questions. I don't see any right now. Uh, just as a reminder, so this is our bi-weekly webinar. Uh, we do every other Tuesday. Uh, so we'll do one uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, two weeks from today. Um, and then again, the weeks that we're not doing this, we're doing the end user uh, webinar presentation. So feel free to check that out uh, for your end users or, or you know, encourage your end users to go there as well. Um, and so uh, we also have uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, I believe it's October 8th, so not the next one, uh, but one or two after that. Uh, for our phishing net, we will have uh, our, our content developer Tanner on. Uh, it's kind of like a guest speaker, celebrity guest speaker, if you will. Uh, very exciting. Tanner's going to go over uh, some content updates. So we actually recently just added new content providers. Um, and so we'll, he'll kind of cover a lot of that. So uh, very excited to, to share that with you. And that's actually on uh, October 8th. So 10-8, uh, at the same time, we will uh, we will have Tanner on to, to go over that. So exciting stuff there. Uh, and again, I don't see any questions, so I will assume that there are none. But uh, if you guys do have any questions on these new integrations, the ConnectWise or the Microsoft Defender, feel free to reach out uh, to our partner success team, our support team via submitted ticket. Uh, we're always happy to answer any of those questions. Um, but we're really excited to get this rolling for you guys and uh, you know have you guys be able to connect it. So uh, all right. Thank you so much again. And everyone, have a great